In Tableau 2019.1, Tableau have added the ability to target specific web containers when you use an action. So essentially they've updated the URL action so you can target a specific container. Well, if you've never used uh, URL actions inside of a dashboard uh, to a web object, then I'm also gonna walk you through that process. So just uh, tune in, you can build this alongside with me and uh, I'll walk you through the feature. So what I've done is I've opened the sample workbook. Uh, this is the Superstore workbook, so you can follow along with that. And I've gone to the product drill down page. Now, what I'd like to do is essentially I'd like to be able to put in a dynamic search query into Google. And so you can actually see here that to do a very basic search on Google, you just need to add the term at the end of this query. So I'm actually gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna go back to Tableau, okay? Now we're in a dashboard. Um, so what I need to do is enable a dashboard URL action. So I'll go over to the dashboard menu. I'll go over to actions. And then I'll add an action and we need the URL action. Okay, now what I'd like to do is I'd like this to trigger when we look at the product view. Now, at this point, I actually don't know which is which. So let me close this and let me just uh, find out which is which. And I normally do this by just clicking on one of them and then it's, it highlights that for you. So the product view is this top one and the product details is this bottom one. So that's actually what I want to use. Now, the other thing I need to do is add a space for this uh, web container. So. I've just gone to my layout here to see what's going on. Um, I think the, the best place to add this would be the right hand side. Um, that'll be probably the easiest place. So I'll go back to the dashboard tab and then I just wanna drag a web object and I wanna put it as far to the right hand side as I possibly can. And in this particular part, I'm actually not going to put a specific URL. I'm just gonna type the number one. The reason is it actually generates a URL for you and it puts the number one. And then what will happen is if you drag another one, and let's say you put that, uh, I'm gonna put that on the right-hand side of that as well, and I hit two, then it will name that two. So you can see that I've got these side by side, but now this left-hand side section looks very squashed. So why not let's fix that? So let's take a vertical container, I'll put it in between these two web windows, and then I'll simply move the web objects inside of that container. And now they share the same vertical container. If I go to the layout tab, I can actually see that one and two are labeled appropriately. It's using the URL to name the web objects. So these are the two web objects. Now I'd like to add a URL actions and I appreciate that my uh, uh, table is not showing fully. So we'll correct that a little, a little later on. Maybe I'll, I'll just do this now just to get more of it in. And I think that's just about enough. So let's uh, expand the space here and let's add the URL action. So I'll go to the dashboard menu at the top. I'll go to actions and this interface will come up. If I go to add a URL action, it's going to want me to add a URL that it can use. So I'm gonna paste the one that I copied off Google. And then what I wanna do is dynamically replace this uh, last item here with my category, okay? And I'd like to replace the label for this to match where you're gonna to go to. And I can even add on Google, okay? So view category on Google. And I'm gonna leave this as a menu because what I'd like to do is have it available in my tooltip, not on click. Clicks can sometimes be activated accidentally. So actually having it in the menu is a nice user experience sort of um, objective. And now the new feature in 2019.1 is this option here, being able to target the specific web object. And you can see here, naming them one and two makes it much, much easier for me to know which one it's going to. So if I have this first one, go to the top, click OK, and then I'm gonna add a second one. And for the second one, we're gonna do something slightly different. What I'd like to do is view the subcategory. So the subcategory related to the product. So let's uh, bring uh, that in. If we can, uh, where is it in this list? Um, I think it might be in this data set. So apologies that I had the wrong um, had the wrong view selected there. So what I'd like to do is make this chart have a URL action, paste that in there. And now in this example, I need to use a subcategory. Now, 
I could have multiple subcategories available to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow multiple values and I'm just going to leave that as is. And for this one, we actually go to number two. So what I want to do is just show you the difference between the two options. And now we have two URL actions. Uh, they activate through the menu and they're going to activate on these two sections. And because we've named our uh, web objects one and two, it's much easier to see what's going on. Okay, so I'm just going to click on furniture and you can see here that I can view furniture, bookcases, chairs and tables. And if I click on that, it loads it in the second space. And you can see it's literally just entered that term straight into Google. If I go on the top one, you'll see that this has got a, a, some interactivity to re-space things. I can go and view technology on Google and you can see that it does a search dynamically on Google. So actually being able to dynamically search different web objects is actually a really, really powerful thing. The way you could fix this in, a, in an actual dashboard is to have a web page, a holding page essentially, that asks the user to uh, make a selection on the left-hand side. Um, you'd have to de generate this in HTML, and you'd have to host it somewhere on the internet so the dashboard could access it. But then once the user makes a selection, it becomes uh, something interactive that they can use. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, uh, subscribe, drop a like. Uh, otherwise, uh, let us know the kind of content you'd like to see in the comments below.